What are the three most devastating things that can happen to a marriage? I may not be able to tell you exactly the three you listed, but I bet one of them was an affair. An affair rips the heart out of a marriage. An affair disconnects you from every vow you made at the altar on your wedding day. There is no way to soften the pain of an affair. It's real and it hurts deeply. So is there hope? Yes, but it takes a lot of work from both of you. You know, I've seen many couples heal from an affair, but the journey's not easy. If the spouse who went outside the marriage is willing to sever that outside relationship and do whatever it takes to rebuild the marriage, then you have step one. Step two lies with the other spouse. Is that spouse willing to work through the healing process and trust again? If those two steps are in place, then here are the next three steps to healing. Be accountable. Accountability is an absolute. If you went outside your marriage, it is your job to be completely open and transparent with your spouse. They need to have all your passwords and access to every social media account, your email, your computer, tablet, and phone. They need to know where you are and, not, and who you are with. And it's not just during this healing time, but for the rest of your marriage. Second, a Christian marriage counselor. I think this is essential. You need someone that is for both you and your marriage. Someone that can guide you through the tough things you're going to go through and give you hope of what God can do. And third, restore trust. You know, we usually don't realize how valuable trust is until it is broken. You restore trust by being completely honest with your spouse. No exceptions. One final thought. This will take time. But be patient and let God work.